Today's review is on Nickelodeon's new show, Game Shakers, a live action gaming sitcom. The show revolves around two girls named Babe and Kenzie, who star a multi million dollar title gaming company in Brooklyn, New York. With rap star Double G, played by Kel Mitchell. Yeah, Kel is back on Nickelodeon, ladies and gentlemen, after his days back in the 90s on All That and Ken and Kel. Double G becomes the investor of the gaming company, and his son, Triple G, is hired as a consultant. Well, well, well. If it isn't Benjamin Flores Jr. from returning to another Nick show, since the Haunted Hathaways has ended. The girls pretty much come up with the games for the app and etc. Babe and Kenzie are in a way friends, although Kenzie felt that they were never friends to begin with in the pilot episode due to Babe never talking to her. Babe claims that they do when she one time told Kenzie to shut up while both were in the bathroom when Kenzie was whistling. So Babe thinks she's a true friend for telling Kenzie to shut up as a way of communicating. Really? Let's not forget the second episode when Babe lost her pink jacket, but Kenzie used her money to buy a new one for her. Kenzie said to Babe, you would do the same thing for me, right? Babe took forever just thinking about it. If you were a true friend, it wouldn't take you long to answer the question. By the way, who names their daughter Babe? Oh, babe, you're such a babe. <laughs> Imagine someone saying that. I mean, it could be worse, but who names their daughter Babe? Either way, Babe and Kenzie are such cute little munchkins. Babe and Kenzie used the song by Double G for a game that they created without his permission. So Double G, of course, was going to sue them, but things worked out. Triple G wanted to hang out with people his age instead of always traveling with his father. Triple G did hang out with some people in Paris, France, plus was in love with a girl, but his father got rid of them in the pilot episode. Double G telling Triple G, you got Bunny to hang out with. Well, Bunny may be a kid at heart, but your son still wants to hang with people his age. So far, I think the show is okay. The only time I'm having a good laugh when watching the show is Kale. He's funny. He makes me lose my mind. He makes all of us lose our minds. And he had me cracking up when he told um, Triple G to um, get away from those donuts. Then he says, you don't know where they been. <laughs> now, I have a few problems with the show. Let's talk about Hudson. Babe and Kenzie's friend, who is not intelligent, but Babe finds him cute, and regardless, Hudson will do whatever the girls tell him to do. I'm pissed off that he is a dumb, blonde, stereotype character, just like every other show you see on today's Nick and Disney Channel in this generation. I'm sick and tired of it. It's like, will it ever end? Why can't the show just have non-dumb, blonde, stereotypical characters? Especially when it's the majority of the time it's mainly the male seen as characters like Hudson. Why can't Hudson be like Triple G, Kenzie, and Babe? Why can't he actually be like them and actually have a brain for crying out loud? Hudson's a nice, friendly kid, but his stupidity and the certain things he does and says makes me want to explode. Sometimes I imagine myself going into the TV, slapping him silly, then asking him, hey, why are you a dumb, blind, stereotypical character? Just stop it. I mean, doesn't that bother you people? Doesn't it really bother you? I mean, my goodness. I mean, if, if Babe tells him, get out. He's going to uh, honestly get out like he thought that's what she actually meant. Really? Stop it, Hudson. What's even more annoying is his constant giggling. He will giggle no matter what. When something good happens, when something bad happens. My gosh, the kid's brain is small as a peanut. Not just his stupidity, but he, he must enjoy life so much for him to giggle. 
Just like in episode three, two days ago, uh, Hudson giggling when Triple G was afraid he would end up going to Utah. Babe told Hudson, this is no time for a giggling moment. Thank you. My goodness, Hudson. Moving on to Bunny. You may remember him and Kale in the hashtag PZB Sam and Cat episode together. I don't have a problem with Bunny. Now, my second problem is... I do have a problem with Double G's other assistant, Ruthless. Yeah, him. The guy is always loud. Every freaking thing, every freaking word that comes out of his freaking mouth, he is loud. It's like, dude, really? Why are you so freaking loud? I bet they made his character to be funny for the sake of being loud. They figured that if he's loud all the time, <laughs> that's funny. Sorry, it's not working. It's just making him even more annoying or like for the sake of getting people headaches, not to mention he is giving black people a bad name. It's bad enough. There are all black people are loud stereotypes out there, especially when it comes to black women. We don't need him setting an example for this. This is ridiculous. Besides all that, it's just nice to see Kel back on Nick. It would be nice if Kale was on Saturday Night Live with Keenan for old time's sake. Nowadays, I guess both want to take a break from each other and do their own thing, which is fine. Days ago, Keenan and Kale did reunite on the Jimmy Fallon show doing the 90s um, all that sketch. Kale as Ed and Keenan as Lester Oaks construction worker. It was great. If you haven't seen the Keenan and Kale reunion on the Jimmy Fallon show, I got the link in the description box for you to check it out. Jimmy Fallon bringing back the 90s. He did one for Saved by the Bell. Too bad the guy who played Screech and the woman who played Lisa was not there. I heard the guy as Screech was arrested and put in jail at that time. And the woman as Lisa was busy. Not to mention the guy that played Principal Belding. Have you noticed that he's um, gotten on the uh, lumptious side nowadays? He used to be skinny back on Saved by the Bell. Now he's uh, pretty much packed the pounds. I guess he uh, been eating good, huh? Hey, as long as he's healthy and he's feel great, that's all that matters. It would have been really great if the guy that plays Screech and the woman that played Lisa was also there. I also heard that Keenan may have been jealous of Kale because I guess people happen to always like Kale more and find him funnier. For me, I equally love both Keenan and Kale. Keenan is funny in his own way. And if Keenan has been jealous of Kale for that reason, then I feel bad for him. We wouldn't want him feeling like that. He just wants to make sure he has plenty of love from others. Also, how many shows can Dan Schneider make? He has loads of shows out the butt. He has money for sure. Couldn't he, I don't know, use it for other projects besides using it to constantly make more Nick shows? I don't know. I want to know. It sounds like he is just making more Nick shows for the sake of money. Anyways, this has been my review on Game Shakers. Like I said, it's an okay show. I think the show definitely would be more improved if they didn't make Hudson such a typical dumb blonde character. And then if the ruthless character wasn't so freaking loud. Anyways, tell me your thoughts on Game Shakers. Are you very happy that Kel is back on Nickelodeon? Uh, tell me your thoughts on the characters, and you can also tell me your thoughts on the Keenan and Kel reunion on the Jimmy Fallon show. Also, did anybody see last night's Rick and Morty episode? Look who's purging. Oh, man, that show so had me in stitches. From Morty going on a rampage, telling everybody to suck his dick, and then the girl and Rick, oh, man, they was breaking it down. Listen to some Tony, Tony, Tony on a pool of blood. I was in stitches and I knew for a fact people were going to go on the Tony, Tony, Tony music video for it feels good. And it was going to mention Rick and Morty. Heck, I did it myself. Rick saying, now let's uh, dance to a uh, Tony, Tony, Tony. He, he said tone instead of Tony. And then Rick like, look at my effing feet, mother effers. <laughs> Uh, I love that show. Rick and Morty for the win. And because of that episode, I'm doing an honoring Rick and Morty video. I got to salute this show. This show is the best. Because that it always makes me feel good, just like that episode. Go on, Rick and Morty. It feels good. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah. 
It feels good. Yeah. It feels good. <laughs> All right. You um like I said, tell me your thoughts on the game shakers. All right, see ya.